In this video, we're going to talk about another Omega Series product. This is the OME ST31. <clears throat> so, looking at the part number here, the AT OME ST31. Again, OME is for Omega. Uh, ST is a means this is a switching transmitter, and 31 means this is a three input one output switch. Now the switch actually does have two outputs, but they're not matrix. They output the same uh, signal. They're mirrored outputs. Now, uh, this product really is, uh, again, designed for the commercial market. It's ideal for conference rooms, for classrooms. Uh, it's made to sit tabletop or be mounted up underneath the table uh, for a discrete uh, connectivity, uh, for a nice clean installation. Um, this uh, product, if you look, flip around to the back here, we'll see this has three inputs on it. The first input is a USB-C. That's different from the HDVS200. Remember, that had a VGA input. We've dropped the VGA input in the Omega series and added the USB-C. And you also have two HDMI inputs beside that on the input. And then on the output side, uh, you have two outputs, although they can only output the same source. So one is HD base T, which would go to the receiver. The other is an HDMI out locally. So now you could connect it. This could be run as a standalone switch. It does not need to go to a receiver. Uh, you could use this in a small room, or maybe later down the road you plan on adding a receiver. This is a great way to start. Uh, or if you do have this running HD based out to a receiver, maybe a, uh, connected to a projector doing a large presentation. But the presenter at the front of the room who's near this box, they might want to have a confidence monitor, which is a small display up front that they can look at to see their slides so they know what's coming up next during their presentation. You can use that output as a slide uh, confidence monitor as well. Uh, here we have the, the blue RJ45, that's the HD base T output. Uh, you've got the green Phoenix connector, which is your RS-232 control port. The black RJ45, which is your LAN connectivity. Put this on the network, standard IP traffic, uh, gets an IP address. It's now discoverable via the AMS software and can be managed via the AMS uh, solution. Uh, and then the power connector here on the far end. On the front side uh, is the uh, power indicator, the link light, uh, status light, as well as the USB connection for firmware updates. You have some input indicator lights here, a toggle button for switching input, and a button for the display. Uh, in this example here, uh, I'm going to turn over to the bench and, and turn this on. We're going to connect it to the HTVS 200RX uh, and use that as our receiver. All right, let's plug this in and give it a try. All right, with the Omega SD31, I'm going to connect this up with the uh, HTVS 200RX as our receiver. So I'm going to connect the power right now to the receiver and get that connected in, and then connect my wall plug to the power box here. All right, now the receiver has power. You see the lights are have come on on the front of it. Now let's connect that receiver to the transmitter, the ST31, using a Panduit uh, patch cord. We'll do this by connecting the RJ45 uh, on the back of the ST31, that's the blue port, uh, the HD base T port to one end of the patch cord and the other end to the back of the receiver. And now we have connection between those two devices and you see the lights have come on on the front of the SD31. We have connectivity. Now let's connect the display. First thing I'm going to do is connect the display to the receiver. And I'll connect my HDMI to the HDMI output on the uh, HDVS200 receiver. And now my source is going to come from the NVIDIA media player and I'm going to take that source, that HDMI input, and plug it into the first HDMI input on the back of the ST31. Now that that source is plugged in, you can see it shows up immediately on the screen. There's my laptop and we're ready to go. Now let's make one quick change to this configuration. I'm going to disconnect the display from my receiver. And I'm going to take the display uh, port over here and connect it to the output on the ST31, the HDMI output. And as soon as I do that, you will see now that that display, now coming directly from the box, is outputting my uh, source uh, right to it there. 
uh, without going through the receiver. So we can output two different ways, either through the receiver or directly through the transmitter itself. So uh, that's the Omega ST31, ideal for commercial solutions, uh, where again we're using an HD base T connection, so the presenter is some distance away from the display. Uh, that's greater than what I could run with an HDMI cable, so we're using HD base T. The ST31 is kind of an advanced transmitter that gives me auto uh, switching, gives me automatic display control, so we can power that display off and on, gives me USB C input, and also gives a local HDMI output, so I can have another display connected right there. So that's the Omega ST31. Check out the rest of our videos online to learn more about this product and for questions. Reach out to the training team at training at atlona.com.